Welcome back dear students. In today's video, I am going to discuss how to write programs in Python. Okay, I will start with a very simple program of printing a say one statement to a user and later we will increase the complexity of the program. As already we know, I am going to use a Linux operating system. In that VI editor, Alt Ctrl T is going to launch a terminal. There, say so I am going to use a VI editor uh, to type the program. Say so to open the file, first type a VI. Say so VI stands for use VI editor here. And here I am going to type the program name. Means the file where I am going to type the program. The I, I call the say first program as first FIRST, first Python program. Like say python.py. You can call anything. So here I am calling first python.py. Now any comments if at all you want to add the comment will start with hash. Whatever you type here like this is the first program in python. This is a single line comment. The, say everything after the hash will be considered as a comment till the new line. Once you enter a new line, say afterwards whatever you type will not be considered as a comment. But in so many cases, we may require more than single line comment. In such cases, we are going to use three double quotes. Within three double quotes, your comment can be of any number of lines like this. But to end the comment, so what you are supposed to do is once again you should type three double quotes. So that this will be considered as a comment whatever you write between three double quotes say that will be considered as a comment uh, Normally you can consider this as a single line comment and this as a multi line comment But uh, in Python we call this type of uh, uh, comment as a documentation If at all I want to tell anything about the program we are going to document that using say three double quotes like this So starting with the program now I am going to write a simple program to print a welcome message. There is a function called print in Python. Like printf in C, there is a function called print in Python. So whatever you write within double quote or single quote, it will be printed to the output screen. Here I am going to type welcome to Python programming. Very simple. So I will save this. And here I am going to execute this with python3 interpreter just use a command python3 to execute this python3 first uh, this is the file name with extension okay dot py stands for python file okay enter now you can see the message welcome to python programming one thing what you need to observe here is whatever the command prompt here it is there it is after this sentence which we have printed from our script if we go back to script you can see here uh, i have not added any new line that means the print function itself will going to add a new line at the end of uh, all the characters say so that you we can say override by using a method of like say for example if at all i want i don't want a new line here at the end i can add a comma and write end the end of this should be with a null character Okay, say so null character is nothing but within this single quote I have not added anything here. Let's see this. And instead of new line, you add a null character. So that's the meaning. So let's see here. What will be the output? The difference you can observe. This we call it as a command prompt in Linux operating system. There is no leave line. Earlier, welcome to uh, Python programming was there at different line and this command prompt was there at a different line means by default a print function is going to insert a new line but that you can override by doing this if i say uh, even see like say for example here explicitly i can add a new line within this slash n so let's see what you get okay but remember adding a new line is default if you don't say over at the end, by default, it will going to add the new line. You need not have to specify it. Like in this case, if I execute, 
by default it is going to add a new line say for example if at all i want to use some variable a simple variable can be like even name like say here i'll take a one uh, variable called a name and i'll write that name harshavardhana i want to use this variable which is a string variable inside this statement i want to type a statement something like this harshavardhana welcome to python programming so in that case what i do here i'm going to use percent yes because it's a string and here at the end of this whatever you want to print that should be given like say say percent of name say here it is going to expect a string and that will be printed from this variable say any variable if at all you want to print its content you should add a percent symbol here right so let's see what will be the output of this here it is python 3 you can see harshavardhana welcome to python programming right say so hope you are understanding this and say for example you itself want to say enter the name in that case we are supposed to use a one function called input input is a function in python and you can tell a user to one sentence here user should enter the name so that the user is going to enter the name and that will be taken and stored inside this variable right by default whatever the user is going to enter it will be stored as a string in this variable let's see what is the output of this program so now here if i execute this it is asking enter the name say enter the name so now if i enter the name here like ananya ananya welcome to python programming say so means here if we go back to the program we have read one variable from the keyboard means this is a input to this particular program okay we have made a user to enter a name and that name added and stored in this variable uh, the content of that variable we are using this program so this whatever i have told in this program is very simple how to print any statement to the output screen and how to read any variable one more thing if at all i want to print a integer let us consider i want to read a integer okay here say i can you say something like uh, age i want to read say age is equal to say so i'll type a, a statement like input because i am going to take a input from the user i'll ask how old are you but remember this age will be stored as a string here if at all i want to convert that to a say integer then we are supposed to use explicit type casting for that purpose in python we have a function called int for converting given variable contain to a integer even for float we have a float and for string also we have str okay say so here whatever the user is going to enter by default it will be string but if at all i want to say convert that as a integer use a function called int which it will going to convert to a say integer and store here and here what i can do is just to print h i'll write print h of user is equal to say percent d here percent h let's see the output of this enter the name say ananya yes how old are you say let us consider say the age is 20 years age of user is equal to 20 see this is a integer say for example if at all in this case without int also i can read but in that case this will be a percent s because by default whatever we enter from the keyboard will be a string because of that say whatever we have read here it has been printed as we have used percent s here but if at all i want to read integer then say you are supposed to use a function called int which will convert given string to a integer and here you can use percent d to print that right so very simple program we have seen how to print any message to the output screen and how do we read input with this we'll proceed further so with 
say some other simple program towards that what we do say let's calculate area of a uh, square uh, we'll write a python program to calculate the area of a square for that purpose what i do i'm going to open a new file called area of a square dot py this is a python program to calculate area of a square say here if at all we want a, a, a area to be calculated for a square obviously we should read a side say area is equal to side into side okay say whatever the side is there say you just multiply with the same thing say we are going to get a area of a square for that purpose we should ask a user to enter the uh, length of a square right say for that purpose let us ask the user i'll take variable as a side and tell the user to enter length of a side in a square as we know the length of all sides will be equal in square the user once he enters by default it will be read as a string but the length can be even in terms of floating point number because of that i'll convert this to a float using explicit conversion these int float these functions are called as type conversion functions okay so where int in previous case the int converted uh, string to integer and even in this case it is converting string to float now area which i am going to type as a new variable area is equal to say side into side very simple thing based on whatever you are going to assign here this is going to take the type if you assign here integer it will, uh, this variable will be of type integer type and if you assign here float this variable will be of type float okay side into side and later if at all i want to print like print inside this area of a given square is equal to percent f say here percent area let's see what's the output python 3 area of square say here i'll write 2.5 area of a given square is 6.25 so if at all you want only two digits after the decimal point that can be done next after decimal point i want only two digits 0.2f so now you can see what you get same 2.5 i enter so area of a given square is 6.25 this is the program that we have written so which it is going to calculate area of a square so in case of say for example if at all i want to find a area of circle that also we will do so let's find in this program only like area of a square comma circle i want to find a area of circle also for circle what i do i'll ask the user to enter in case of circle i require radius radius is equal to say once again this can be a float input i'll ask the user tell the user to enter a radius of a circle once the user will enter it it will be converted to float and stored in rat and what is the formula to calculate a area of a circle the area of a circle is given by it is equal to pi r square pi r square for that purpose i may take a variable called pi and store that say 3.142 simple thing see now same way variable can be used here no problem area is equal to this time it is pi into r square means it is radius into radius here say we can print area of a given circle is equal to so on okay say so i have taken here the variable as rad and whereas i have used the variable name here as a radius So I'll make this as a radius only, right? Now let's see. So this is three. So now the same three if I use here, so area of a given circle is twenty-eight point two eight. So once again, a simple program to calculate area of a square and a circle. Thank you. Thank you for watching.